But this discovery, Adam, it's big. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order, when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. Adam, sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. Sources tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. I need you all to wait here for SWAT. Help me! I found your attack dog in the factory labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. So me and la we'll leave it! You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Oggs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the gulf. The only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. Their priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. Nice try. But if they're so worried about this Og lover, then they'll make sure nothing happens to her, won't they? You've wasted enough of my time. That chink wire hit freak used my brother and screwed us over. Just like you kind always does. I gotta find out why, so shove off, dear box. You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not gonna let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Oh, it's so obvious. I can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabron. Get out of here. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. Any sign of him? Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it! Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. God damn! We're gonna lose the bastard! You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in.
New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the Intellicams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack... was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. All the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just blown through the roof, thanks to the arrival of William Taggart, celebrity author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization Humanity Front. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attacks... An extremely regrettable affair. I'd very much like to meet with David Seraph in person to offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to Humanity Front. My people have worked tirelessly to find a peaceful solution to this dispute, and I unequivocally deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Seraph, united in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovations first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront, will also be present. So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. 
Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me. How are you feeling? I've had better days. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, cause so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well the police are saying he's not and they're refusing to let me see the body no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Well, maybe they didn't like being held off so long at the plant. Is that my head of security speaking? Or the ex-cop? Listen, Adam. I don't want to squabble about this. I need you to get to the bottom of it. You've still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? As a matter of fact, I do. Look, Adam. You know the police never fully investigated that first attack, don't you? Yes, but... But nothing. We lost a lot of good people, top people. And I'm beginning to think Detroit PD doesn't give a damn. Someone is pulling strings to keep us in the dark. And in your world, the ends justify the means. My world is your world, Adam. And if getting that neural hub illegally will show us who's behind these attacks, and maybe even help us go after them, yeah, you're damn right it does. So get going. Adam, were you just speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Seraph was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Taggart, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war apps whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. Mrs. Reed? Oh, 
Madam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions. And every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there... There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. 
And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay, I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in the storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Ah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Why retire from the force only to become a security guard? I mean, it looks like you still love the work. I love the idea of being a cop. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others just don't care. And it shows. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cup already full. That's all I need for now. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! 
And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Oh, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, now listen, man. We we obviously got off on the wrong foot here, right? <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Sarif as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. Nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in a two-bit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. That's good to hear. Everything goes back to that day. I shot a kid, but he was dead before I did that. He chose to make himself a weapon, and he could have gone through us like tissue paper with those augments of his. That's why you ran off. You just couldn't take that. Wayne, are you getting careless? That empty pill bottle in the trash over there. Didn't you know antipsychotics are included in the force's zero-tolerance drug policy? I, uh, I only need them until I get things sorted out. Y you can't do this. It's not right to use them against me. They'll fire me if they find out. I'll lose my pension, everything. But you would, wouldn't you? Fine, you're cleared. I'll tell the guys to let you through. But I'll never forget this. That's a promise.
About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bolt would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it. Other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The hub's been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um... Do you... do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please... Be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me. She will. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer? 
Who do you think configured your security protocols? Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an anti -og. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Pritchard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. See you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on a gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. See? Didn't I tell you it was a stupid idea to let those purity first assholes set up camp on our turn? Yeah, but it wasn't our decision, so too bad. Besides, they paid rent like everybody else, so what's the big deal? Come on. These fucks have been coming in here promising all sorts of glory and bullshit if we join them. And all they're doing is getting us killed. You're just jealous because they never took you. After the way they fucked up their op in Milwaukee Junction, they should have just blown up that building sky high with every fucking robohogger inside it. Sanders is all talk. Then why'd you bring him up? How comes I ain't getting nothing but Pike is new? That's all we do get. Ever since that purity dude went up on the roof and hacked the antenna. Sanders, friend? 
You let him up near the helipad? He said he'd get us porn. And you believed him? Fucking idiot. Regardless. I'm telling you, something big is going on in Highland Park. Now, Stewie didn't say much, but when he got close to the warehouse, there were already people in there. Was it the bangers? I heard they've been expanding out there. No, from what he described it, it was too slick even for them. High-tech setup, serious firepower. How serious? Sounds like military-grade stuff to me. And you know Stewie, he don't exaggerate. Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Yo. What's good, man? You looking for some new toys? I can make you a good deal. Some information. I could tell you some shit for sure. What you want to know? You guys seen anything suspicious going down around here? Suspicious ain't the word, man. All types of caravans moving in and out of here. They're going all out. Who is they? Well, that's the problem. These motherfuckers ain't consistent for real. The feds were buying up all the land from the textile manufacturers until about a month ago. That's when some started going down in this bitch. Some real. What you call it before? Suspicious. Word, suspicious. Something real suspicious started happening. These spec ops moved into the factory and started running some sort of major operation. They picked off my brother for trying to set up shop in the area. Rest in peace, Big Wizard. Yeah, real. These spec ops still around? Yeah, no doubt. They got a patrol unit in the courtyard, and they got snipers on the roof and shit. Thing is, I saw some government vans lurking around, so it looks like they be moving their party somewhere else and making way for the feds once again. Thanks. All good. Anything else? I'm good for now. Thanks for the offer. All good, son. Peace. And watch your back. before we did. We can still reconfigure. Track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. I'll make the call. Malik, get out of sight now. Why? What's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. Fuck! I'm going in. Oh, yeah! Now, before that little rock and roll break, I was talking about some serious shit, so I'd like to keep going. I'm trying to 
trying to remind people that the only way they can get in touch with me is by online interactive streaming. We'll stream you through and answer your questions as best we can, but don't get your panties in a bunch if you get hung up on. If we detect even the slightest suspicious fluctuation in signal, we have to shut you down. The World Order and their team of expert hackers could be trying to track us. And that's why we have to create a covert host site for every new stream and then shut it down immediately once the call's over. I'm sitting here, just me and my techie Steve in a sweaty, clammy, claustrophobic van, tossing digipads out in the trash left and right in order to bring you this show via satellite. But I'm good with it. I'm good with it because I understand the reality of living in a slave state. You can bet they'll keep trying to shut us down, but I won't stop, followers. I will not stop until there is a full-scale revolt in progress. You hear what I'm saying, people? You okay, Steve? Good. We got us a Boy Scout. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? You won't level with me and tell me what it is you're hiding. I quit. I'm looking for a cyber security specialist named Van Bruggen. You know him? Get rid of him, Barry. That's gonna be a pleasure. 